The Myrtle Project aims to bridge the gap between physical and virtual classrooms. In this movie we demonstrate the use of Myrtle in a traditional classroom setting. It's a prototype installation to explore the practical issues involved in running a mixed reality classroom. The virtual classroom has been built on top of Project Wonderland and is situated in the campus grounds at the University of Essex in the UK. The classroom contains additional technology to provide an audio and video bridge between the physical and virtual classrooms. Loudspeakers and a large TV screen have been installed at the rear of the classroom. Both have been connected to a PC. The speakers broadcast the audio from within the virtual classroom and the TV displays the remote students' avatars. The screen is visible to all the students in the physical classroom and attempts to give the impression of a virtual classroom annex. So the students in the physical classroom are able to see and hear their remote counterparts and the teachers in the physical classroom are able to see and hear all the students, present and remote. As far as the teachers in the physical classroom are concerned, it all seems fairly traditional, with slides projected onto a screen at the front of the room. A web camera is mounted directly beneath the TV screen. This streams a video of the physical classroom into the virtual classroom. There is also a microphone in the physical classroom, positioned in the centre of the desks, so that it can pick up the audio from the students and the teachers. So the remote students can see and hear the students and teachers in the physical classroom. Remote students typically use a headset. This means that remote students can talk and listen to other remote students, and also with those in the physical classroom. Here we can see that the remote student has logged into Myrtle and is positioning his avatar. At the front of the virtual classroom, positioned on the wall, are two windows. One, on the left, contains the video broadcast from the web camera in the physical classroom. On the right is a window containing a view of the slides to be used in the class. Remote students can also see the avatar representations of their colleagues in the virtual classroom. We join the class just as it gets underway. Welcome to this morning's lecture. My name is Janet Smith from the International Academy. My name is Fumio Nagatsuhara. I'm doing a PhD in language testing. And could you just introduce yourselves? If we start with this lady. Hello, my name is Franca. I'm a student at the International Academy. Thank you, Franca. Hello, my name is Jamie. I'm a student at the International Academy. Thanks, Jamie. Hello, my name is Jamie. I'm a student at the International Academy. Thank you very much. We also have seven other students joining us, so if you'd like to just wave hello to the screen. Hello. Hi. Here is about classroom oral assessment, so language testing, specifically to do with speaking. And these are the aims of the class today. So the aims of this class are to understand the importance of classroom speaking tests, and then to be familiar with different formats of speaking tests, like interview tests, group tests, or monologue tests and also to talk about the, some basic familiarity with the rating scales and standardization. Okay, so firstly, we will talk about test purposes, and then... All right, has anybody got any questions at this stage? In the virtual classroom, we can see that Michael is trying to ask a question. Michael, I see you've got a question. Go ahead. Thanks. Could you go through the definition of washback again for me? Yes, um, washback is the effect of testing on teaching and learning and we have positive washback and negative washback. Positive washback is the positive effect of testing on learning and teaching and negative washback is negative effect of testing on learning and teaching. Is that okay Michael? Thank you. 